Joined now by Alex Nagy, the director of motorsports for the United Racing Series. This will be the second year since the merger between uh, APC and, and uh, Oscar having the four divisions under the one umbrella. So I guess what's new for 2024? Ah, oh, geez, I guess not a lot new. I mean, some of our programs are expanding, like the NTN Triple Crown for the late models is is uh, is growing. We're going to make some announcements on that soon. Some new partners in the in the late model series. We have a new title sponsor in the Hot Rod Division, JRS Auctions. A returning sponsor on the Modifieds with Just Foam It. Uh, APC, of course, is back for another few years uh, with, the, with the late model series and Quick Wick on the Super Stock. So, so that's all good. And uh, we have uh, little different, some different format races in the late model series. So we're going to have a 150 lap race, part of the NTN Triple Crown at Sun, or I'm sorry, Sobel Speedway, August 3rd. A 200 lap race at Sunset. Or at sunset. And then a 300 lap to finish the season off at Delaware. So, uh, some some different expansion, I guess, with some longer races. Last year they went really well, and this year uh, we're just trying to grow upon that. So, a lot of a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I guess some pretty similar schedule. I guess the change, uh, main change being Delaware, the finale being in early September this year, and I saw the. Uh, the Brighton race for uh, Oscar being a bit later as well. So I guess what are some of those sort of notable dates on the calendar? Yeah, so the Brighton thing with, it was trying to find a date that worked for them. <clears throat> so that's w why we ended up a bit later. The, uh, on the late model side with, on, with, uh, with the APC series schedule, the Delaware finale is earlier and it's complicated, I guess, but simple. Uh, basically we had to, we, the calendar is a bit different this year. It falls, I think there's more one more weekend in September, however that was. But as it turned out, our partners next door at the golf course have a big outdoor function. So we wanted to get away from that to be a good neighbor. And then where we wanted to move up a week earlier is the London Air Show. So we don't want to go against that. So that moved us up another week to September 7th. So. Um, at the end of the day, you know, maybe it's it'll work out uh, to be a good move. I, it's going to be a fine move for partners and for fans and everything, but uh, I don't know if we'll stay with it that early, but at the same time, finishing that early with all the big fall races at Sunset, Flamborough, Peterborough, uh, and all the other tracks that have their fall specials, it may just be a blessing. So we'll see where it all falls, but it's uh, that's why the change, and uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, I guess the, the cool thing too about the Delaware race is having all four series there at yeah. the same time. So how special is it once you get to see them all on the track in the same weekend? Yeah, it's really good. You know, last year, like you said, uh, was the first year at the Hot Rods and the Modifieds. Um, we didn't go to Sunset last year with those divisions, but we're back this year, which is exciting. And uh, this year, I guess... One of the biggest things as far as the modifieds and the hot rods goes is the fact that it is our second go around, so it just feels more at home. And uh, I think we're just in a better spot with all that now. So, uh, but yes, the four divisions together at Delaware is exciting for us, for sure. It's just so nice to have all of our, all of our uh, teams and all of our drivers in one spot for a few days. I know it's still, I guess, somewhat early in the offseason as far as registrations go, but sort of who are some of those top contending drivers that you're expecting for this season across the four series? Yeah, it is early. Still, it seems seems late because the weather's been so great this year. One of the guys coming back is this superstar right here, Ryan Dyson, in the Superstock series. So uh, uh, other Superstock notables, you know, are, is, is Carson and Hudson Nagy, Ryan, uh, I met here with Jay Dewar yesterday, who's a, a, a really strong car at Delaware, but I think he might go on a tour this year. So that uh, it's going to be that series is crazy all the time. Hot rods are off the charts. I mean, there's new people coming, and we introduced the hot rod truck that's behind us here at the Peterborough Autumn Colors Classic last year. That's new for 2024. So now we have a couple pick pickup trucks in the hot rod series. Just it's been exciting. Um, the Modifieds, uh, like you said, just foam it is back again, which is incredible. People like, uh, I mean, all the big hitters will be back. Nothing, nothing new there. Uh, late model division, we have J.R. Fitzpatrick, our, our previous champion a couple years ago. He's going off doing some outlaw super late model stuff, which is great. He's wanted to do that for a while. So 
can't wait to watch him with that. He's going to probably visit us a few times. Uh, Ray Morneau, previous champion at Delaware, has announced he's coming full time. You know, and then we have people like Joe Lawrence, uh, Kyle Steckley, Trayton Lapsovich, all those guys, young bucks, you know, young superstars going down south and racing, and everybody's afraid that we're going to lose them. Well, first off, we're so proud of all those guys, and if we had a small part of them being able to move down there and do some stuff with those big hitters down south, we're pretty happy about that. But fortunately enough for us, Kyle's back to defend his title, Joe's back, and uh, hopefully Trayton gets a chance to race with us sometime as well. So um, change is good, and we got some... Uh, some opportunities for some new people and uh, some superstars coming back. And what else should people know about the United Racing Series? Just that uh, I feel it's one of the best values out there as far as family fun, great racing. You can catch us, produce, our shows are produced by GeForce TV on Racing America this year. So you go there and subscribe on their website. It's cheap, it's $100 US for the year. You not only get a nine US, US URS races, you also get 200 plus asphalt races, some NASCAR content. So it's a really good value. Um, we're excited about that new partnership. Excited about having G-Force back doing a production. And um, all the tracks, I think, offer something different and we're working with them all the time to try to make all the shows more exciting. So the, 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 the longer races are more exciting. There's a lot. And you watch our website because we're going to have a, a merchandise online store open up soon on unitedracingseries.com, which will encompass late model super stocks, hot rods, modified. So that's coming. And uh, yeah, just trying to keep moving forward all the time. All right, thank you. You're welcome.